Alrighty, you guys, here we go. Starting out on blue collar. We're gonna launch this car in fourth gear for this run, but normally you wanna actually launch this in fifth. So I could've went a little bit faster off the start there. Um, if there's any tracks where your first corner isn't gonna be turning in fifth gear, you can actually launch all the way up into sixth gear, which is in insane on this build. After that first corner, we're gonna drift all the way into the center again, just like in the Viper video for drifting, and burst straight out of it. Get a little bit of a micro drift there to get a grip nos and a little bit of a drift nos. Getting way more consistent with my drifting. I'm really enjoying it. It's been so much more fun than grip racing, if I'm being honest. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying the drift builds as well. I can continue to put these out for you guys. Coming into this corner here, I was struggling with this corner all day. And as you see here, over-rotated it just a little bit. Tried to correct it, but we didn't maintain the momentum that I wanted to. So we lost about a second there, believe it or not. That's almost a full second. Same thing with that corner. Didn't really maintain the uh, momentum that I wanted to. Lost about another half a second. Now, one thing about this car is it is just booking it over the dirt. You stay right around 150. That's the goal. If you can get a car to stay around 150 miles per hour over the dirt, you're moving. And if a car isn't staying around there and still getting very good times, then trust me, there's a lot of potential for that car to even do better. Or if you put some off-road tires on it, you might be able to work a little bit more times out of this race with that specific vehicle. Now, this last part of the section, I believe we did pretty good here. This car is a beast when it comes to corner exit speed out of the drift. You just have to make sure you're on tarmac. It's a little bit less, you know, sketchy than the Viper. I believe it's a little bit more easy to save because I had a couple moments where I was going off road, but still able to save this car versus the Viper build I uploaded yesterday. I wasn't able to do the same things. As soon as I hit dirt, it was over for that car resulting in it being just a tad bit slower on this run but it's definitely capable of similar times to the viper low twos 202s and things like that we get a 204 there but i was pretty happy with it let me know what you guys think let's shoot for 80 likes today again on today's video you guys hit almost 100 likes yesterday and i really appreciate that so without further ado man let's get straight into this build on this 1965 mustang man Yo, what up you guys, Magic IQ here, and today I'm bringing you guys a beautiful off-meta build on this 1965 Ford Mustang. Man, I really, really have been loving drift builds recently, and this car inspired me to do it again. I'm checking out every single car that can't get more than 40% grip, and I'm making a drift build with it, because it seems to be that they're all super duper consistent they're very competitive this car gets about a 204 to a 202 on blue collar as well um, i wasn't able to push it to the maximum ability i did get a clean run but i made a couple mistakes that could have cost me a second or two as well as this car does have a top speed of 211 miles per hour which makes it very viable on races like getting high tonight and rapid transit it's able to do around a 150 to maybe even 140s this car is just a little sketchy to drive as well as in the 230s on rapid transit if you can control this thing i will say it is a beast to handle but I really love how this car feels. It's super fun to try and tame, and we're just gonna have to deal with those challenges as I read you off the stats here. So even though it says 209 top speed, it does get up to 211 without rev tech. Have not tested above that because it wasn't really needed, but you probably can get a couple more miles per hour out of it with rev tech. Zero to 60 is 4.3 for you automatic guys, and in manual, you're gonna wanna launch this car in fifth gear. You can even launch it in sixth gear, honestly, but I recommend fifth just because most of the tracks, um, except for rapid transit you're gonna not really be up shifting before the first corner anyway so the horsepower on this build is a thousand ninety one horsepower with a max torque of 1056 you can probably get a little bit more power out of it with some of the other motors but it's already slippery as it is so i don't really want more power and this is kind of cheaper to build because you don't have to swap the motor you just keep the stock motor that is in the car the quarter mile is 11.3 though for you automatic guys as well now getting into the motor we have a 4.7 liter V8 in this thing, starting off stock with 200 horsepower. Obviously, we got a few more ponies than that now in the car. But when we go to the engine parts here, as you guys can see, we have a super induction as well as an elite ECU, elite fuel system, elite exhaust, and an elite roots supercharger. Now the guys have been doing some testing and some of the forced induction types, even though you can get more power with the super ones, the Elite apparently still provides more boost, at least to the way the car actually acts with the car on an Elite Root Supercharger. 
I have to do more testing and then I'll come out with a video on that as well as a video on how to drift. If you guys want a video on drift racing specifically, hosted probably by Koyce and myself. Um, Koyce doing most of the talking because he's been teaching me and I've been learning a lot already. So as you guys can see, we got the super road suspension here. I've been having a lot of fun just making the weird percentages on the drift builds and 38% has been my kind of sweet spot. Now for the tires, we have elite grip tires and for the clutch, we have a basic clutch. Obviously the brakes were uh, basic as well. Um, I didn't even say that, um, but the uh, gearbox is a seven speed gearbox here with a sport differential and nitrous drift auxiliary and nitrous grip auxiliaries please guys if you're going to use a drift build remember to reset your auxiliaries you can full send it if you want but you're going to have to go over here to reset the auxiliaries you want to click empty slot and then re-equip whatever auxiliary it is that you're using most likely these two trust me they're the two best auxiliaries to use they really really need to fix that because it's really obnoxious now for the handling we are at 38 percent drift here with a steering sensitivity of right in the middle if you realize this thing is getting out on you a little too much you can lower the steering sense but i really like how this car actually responds um so i leave it as is um we are at a downforce of all the way towards max all my builds are max downforce pretty much um except for some grip builds with minor exceptions there um traction control is completely off obviously it's a drift build but every single build in this game trash control off trash control off will always be faster now drift entry is set to brake tap gas tap is good too but i've been pretty successful with brake tap i actually don't mind still using brake tap i'm not going to switch it up because it's the only way i can go back and forth between grip and drift without feeling weird if i want to switch builds i don't have to take 10 minutes to get used to gas tap or drift tap vice versa again when i want to switch between styles of driving now i hope you guys enjoy i really love this car it is super fun to use it's an off meta car that not a lot of people expect to do well i could have done like a unicorn build on it or something but i just wanted to do something classic and clean i really like how this car looks i like the stock wheels on it i like the white walls on it and i love this old kind of style color with this like baby blue metallic i think it looks super clean let me know what you guys think as well i appreciate you guys for tuning in i've been having a lot of fun with these off meta drift builds even though they're starting to seem like they're meta man if you can't make a car work try a drift build on it you never know it could just be a competitive build i appreciate you guys from magic iq and i'm out peace